Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at a new flashlight from Jetbeam. This is the TH15 and they sent this guy over for me to check it out and show it to you guys. And I was pretty interested in getting it in hand and checking it out specifically because this light actually has two different modes. Now, when you hear of flashlights having different modes, you automatically think of lumen output. So modes like low, medium, high, turbo, um, SOS, things like that. With this light, with the TH15, modes actually means two different things. So it actually has two working modes. So this is, in essence, two flashlights in one. So it has both an outdoor mode and a tactical mode. And the when you set it into one of the two modes, you actually have a couple different choices of what you can do to use the uh, different switches on the light itself. Because besides the two modes, you also get not one, not two, not three, but four four switches on this light. So it has, um, on the tail cap, it actually has three switches, and then you also have a side switch as well. So this is the box that it comes with. Obviously, as you guys can tell, it has a highest output of 1300 lumens, and it's using a Cree XHP35 E2 LED. So this is also running off of one 18650 battery, or you can use two CR123A batteries as well. Again, IPX8 waterproof and it is impact resistant up to one meter and you do get a pretty decent throw on it also 228 meters so let's take a look at the back of the box right here it gives you a lot of information as far as the different modes and whatnot uh, and again when i say modes i'm talking about both the output and then also the actual operating modes so here on the side you see tactical mode and then outdoor mode and you see turbo high middle low ultra low Eco and strobe. So again, 1300 lumens is the turbo, the highest output. And that's actually gonna run you for uh, three minutes. And then after three minutes, it's actually gonna ramp down to the high output, which is 900 lumens for 1.1 hours. And then obviously you can see the uh, rest of the output there. If you wanna go ahead and pause it and read it, you can do that as well. But it's really cool. So I really wanna take my hands on this guy so I can check it out because of um, it, it's a really nice and complete package because in essence, again, it gives you two flashlights in one. So let's go ahead and open up the box so we can see what comes inside. Right. So, packaging open. All right. Let's see if we got anything else in there. Yeah, a couple little things here. So let's take a look at the little cards here first. Come on. There we go. All right. So first of all, you get a warranty card, and again, this is uh, warranty information in the back there. All right. And then you also get a Certificate of approval. So basically this is telling you that they've inspected the product, it's gone through quality control, and it is good to go out and approve for sale. All right. I will set the flashlight itself to the side first. Um, you have a user manual here. Again, we'll take a look at that uh, a little bit. It has on one side, it's got all your information uh, in English, and then uh, it has it in what I'm assuming is going to be Chinese on the other side. Uh, and it's um, with this particular flashlight, I would definitely recommend if you do end up picking it up to kind of read through the manual here because it's going to give you a lot of very useful information, especially when you get into the uh, different modes and then switching from um, not just the tactical mode and the outdoor mode, but also switching uh, through the uh, actual outputs of the light itself. So set that to the side also again this does have a rechargeable 18650 battery so they do include your uh, usb cable i like the fact that they keep it um, nice and short so it's easy to transport with you again for the most part when you go to recharge these type to these type of flashlights or the batteries you're going to be uh, using maybe like a, a laptop or you're going to be using a battery bank or something like that so you don't really need that long of a cord so they do include that which is nice you also get a holster here and inside the holster you have a couple different things First things first, you have a wrist lanyard here. I like these, especially with these type of flashlights. You're generally gonna be using it around your wrist. So this is uh, gonna allow you to secure it. And if you're, let's say, walking the dog or something like that, if you were to drop it, you're not gonna have to worry about losing your flashlight. So that's really cool. And then you have a little accessory bag here. And inside you have a couple of spare O-rings, a spare rubber tail cap switch, and then you also have a pocket clip. And then here is the holster itself. Pretty nice. Um, you do have 
an area right here. So if you want to slide your belt uh, through there, you can do that. Or if not, you have the button closure here, which is both button closure and Velcro. Uh, you also have elastic on the side, so it will give you a little bit of a stretchiness there. And then Velcro on the front to actually house the flashlight itself. And then let's take a look at the lights. Now, another cool feature that they do offer is they do offer you the um, this tactical ring here, which allows you to carry in what they call a cigar um, uh, style. So basically like this. So if you're using it in conjunction with a firearm, this is going to give you a little bit better control as far as um, actuating the light and using it and whatnot. So again, this is um, kind of like the st that standard one 18650 battery size of the flashlights. It's perfect for EDC carry. Uh, it's not too heavy. It's uh, It keeps a really nice form factor. But all in all, it, it feels really, really nice in the hand. You have some really nice knurling all through there, uh, detailing. You do have a little bit of a cranulated bezel right there. And there is your uh, LED and then obviously you do have a textured reflector as well. So you have your side switch here which doubles as a um, battery indicator as well and then in the back you do have the uh, that three um, uh, design uh, the tail cap switch design so you have the middle button like you would normally have in uh, these type of flashlights and then you have the two paddles on the side. So basically what that does is it allows you to actually activate the light depending on what mode you have it set into uh, regardless of how you pick it up. So with some flashlights if you only have the paddle on one side if you pick it up on the other side and you kind of have to reach over this way um, you know depending on if you pick it up this way or if turned around and you pick it up that way it'll still be able to activate the uh, the different modes and whatnot. So in essence, they both do the same thing. It's just uh, kind of ambidextrous. So if you pick it up with this hand or with this hand or facing one way or the other, you're not going to have to worry about not being able to turn it on or switch the modes or anything like that. And then you have the little um, area right there to attach the lanyard. And that is, again, on both sides. Let's take a look at the battery. I'll go ahead and remove the tail cap section here. As you guys can tell, this does have the two O-rings right there, so it is going to be watertight. You're not going to have to worry about it if it does fall in water or anything like that. And then here is the 2600 milliamp 3.7 volt 18650 battery that, again, is included with the light. And right on the side here, you do have the port so you can attach your um, USB charger here. So this is uh, a right there you attach it right there and then you have two leds so one of them um will be red and the other one will be green depending on on what it is so if it's charging it'll be red and once it's done it'll turn green and you'll know that it's ready to go so again it's really cool that they do offer um the usb cable and the battery itself and the ability to go ahead and recharge it now what i do like about the these batteries that um where you recharge the actual battery is that um you can you know if you purchase another one or if you have a you know a one from another flashlight or something like that that you want to use with this one you can actually be charging one of the batteries and be using the flashlight so whereas the flashlights that have to be recharged directly on the light if the flashlight goes down then you need to recharge it then you're left without a light so at least this way if you do end up picking up another battery or you have another one you can go ahead and charge one while you use the other one and then um, you'll never be left without your light right so put that back on and again you do have the option of either running it with the uh, the ring right here the tactical ring or with the supplied um, pocket clip which you would attach right in the same area there so you can actually attach it either on this side or on that side depending on how you like to carry it so if you want the head sticking up or if you want the tail section sticking up you can do it that way all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the two modes that are available for the TH15 and uh, how to cycle through the different light outputs. So right now, the flashlight is set at the outdoor mode. In this mode, you're going to have use of the uh, tail cap switch in the middle here. The actual two other switches on the side are disabled for the outdoor mode. So if you want to turn the light on, you can go ahead and press that switch. The light will come on. And if you press it again, it'll turn off. You also have a momentary on function, and that's uh, if you press the switch shortly, so halfway, you get the output as well, and then you can go ahead and release it, and it'll turn off. 
Now, um, this does have a memory. So whatever last output you were using after three seconds, the flashlight will remember. And then regardless of if you're doing momentary on or constant on, that's what it's gonna come on. So uh, once the light is on, if you wanna go ahead and switch through the different modes, you're gonna be using the uh, side switch here. So right now it is at the lowest mode and this is the moon mode. Uh, if you press the switch, it'll go to low, then medium low, then medium, and then lastly, it'll go to high, and high is 900 lumens. And of, of course, this is perfect for the majority of your EDC tasks. And then if you go ahead and press the side switch again, it'll go back down to moon, and we'll turn it off. Now, you also have a couple of other outputs. You have the strobe mode, and that's actually being, uh, you can activate that by pressing the side switch twice while the light is off. So with the light off, just press the side switch twice. And it'll go into strobe and again strobe is 900 lumens and then just press it again and it'll turn it off and then you also have a quick access to your turbo mode uh, or turbo output which is uh, 1300 lumens and you can reach that by turning the light on regardless of what output you have it on if you press the side switch three times it'll go into your turbo and again that is 1300 lumens, which is going to be good for three minutes. And then after three minutes, it'll ramp down to uh, 900 lumens, which is the high output. All right, now we'll go ahead and switch it from outdoor mode to the tactical mode. So the way that you do that is you turn the light on and then you're going to press the side switch and you're going to keep it pressed for three seconds. And then you'll see the LED blink three times. So we'll do that. All right, and there it is, it blinked three times. So now you're at the tactical mode and actually goes into tactical mode at the lowest mode. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. Now in the tactical mode, now you have use of both the uh, center tail cap switch and the two on the side. So just like at the outdoor mode, you do have a uh, momentary on and then a constant on. So if you wanted to do the momentary on, just press the um, center switch there and it'll actually default on to the high output which is the 900 lumens and you can go ahead and turn it off uh, and in the off position you also have the momentary on or yeah the momentary on which you can go ahead and just lightly press it and again it'll come on at the high output of 900 lumens now using the two uh, side switches here those are actually they'll both do the same thing and they'll give you straight access into strobe so again, um, this is a tactical version. So if you have a need for that, you can go ahead and do it. Now, if you press and release, it'll come on and come off. If you press and hold for three seconds, it'll actually stay on and the strobe mode will stay on. Now, turning on the light itself, now you're gonna be switching the modes using the side switches here. So again, this is designed so you never have to reach around to the uh, side switch here. You'll use the ones in the back. Just as in the outdoor mode, the side switches on the tail cap were disabled. In the tactical mode, the side switch is disabled. So you don't have to worry about accidentally pressing that and switching the modes. You'll actually do it with the ones in the back here. So if you press it, you'll have your low. Press it again, you'll have medium. And then press it again and you'll have high. And then again, that will go back down to low. So as you guys notice, you do lose a couple of the um, lumen outputs when you go from the outdoor mode to the tactical mode. But again, they figured that you're pretty much gonna be using either strobe or high output, or and then if you wanted to, you can just cycle through low and medium as well. Last but not least, I already showed you the quick access to the strobe mode, and that is when the light is off and you're in the tactical mode, just by pressing the um, two switches on the back here, you'll go directly into strobe. And then if you do wanna go direct uh, quick access into turbo with the light on, again, you're gonna be using pretty much everything in the back here. All you have to do is press the one of the uh, switches here. Again, they both do the same thing on the side three times and that'll get you right into the turbo. And again, that's 1300 lumens for three minutes. So I wanna go ahead and take the TH-15 outside and show you guys some real life beam shots. Now I would probably be using this flashlight mainly in the tactical mode. I do like the fact that the flashlight has the ability to cycle through either the outdoor mode that gives you that many more output options and the tactical mode. But for the most part, I like to keep my flashlights very simple. I tend to always use pretty much the highest output available. So the fact that I can just transition over to the tactical mode is great, especially for me. You know, I do still have the option of going low and medium, but I would probably 
mainly mainly using high and um, I like the fact that I don't have to worry about the side switch. I can do everything from the back. So when we go outside, I'll go ahead and show you guys in the tactical modes what you get out of the different outputs and how easy it is to switch back and forth. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these beam shots using it in the tactical mode, which I already mentioned is probably what I will be carrying at. Um, you know, I just uh, have the camera pointed down the street where I live at, so you see a couple of trees. So if you just press the um, center switch in the back, that'll obviously come on on high, and that's 900 lumens. As you guys can see, the light is doing a really good job. Um, the flashlight is throwing it way out there so I can see pretty much anything that's coming down. Um, the end of the street over there is, um, I'd say about 100 yards away, maybe 150 yards, and I can illuminate pretty much the whole street. Now if I press the, um, the side switches on the back, then I get the strobe. And again, this is great for disorienting people or maybe signaling, you know, depending on what you're gonna be using it for. And then I can go ahead and turn it back off. Now, if I turn it on and I wanna cycle through the modes, again, this is high, but just pressing these side switches there. Um, this is the tree right in front of me is about 30 yards away and that's low. Then I can go to medium and then even medium is doing a really good job at lighting up a lot and then back up to high. And if I really, really needed to and I wanted to go to turbo, just uh, hit those side switches three times and there's turbo. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there isn't that much of a difference. Again, you're going from 900 lumens to 1300 lumens. Uh, but if you want, if you did have a need for that, again, it's gonna be available for you for, you know, um, three minutes and then it'll ramp back down to 900 lumens, which is the high. So as you guys can see in a real world scenario, the TH-15 is doing a great job at not only giving you a lot of light output, but throwing that light way out there so you can see things um, in the distance before they get to you or anything like that. Uh, I do like the fact that you have the ability to switch back and forth between the modes very, very easily. All you have to do is press that side switch. So if you were in a situation where you would want maybe that moon or, or the medium low mode or something like that, and uh, you wanted to maybe present Preserve the battery life you can easily switch down to that but like i mentioned i would probably be mainly keeping it in the tactical mode because i do enjoy the fact that i don't have to worry about those extra uh, output options i'll pre pretty much be only running it in the high output and then i have the ability to go directly to high and directly to strobe right in the back here with the uh, three switch design. I do like the fact that they include a lot of the different accessories that you're gonna need in order to um, carry this, uh, you know, depending on how you wanna carry it. So if you wanna do the uh, cigar style right there, you can do that. If you wanna throw on the pocket clip, you have that. If you wanna put the lanyard on there, you have that. And then last but not least, if you wanna throw it onto your belt or put it on a pack or something like that, you have the uh, holster to be able to do that. Uh, it's a complete package in my opinion you get the extra o-rings the extra tail cap switch and then you also have the rechargeable 18650 battery with the cable to do so the only thing that i would probably pick up extra would be maybe another battery like i mentioned and just have that one charging off to the side that way you can go ahead and switch out and you'll never be left without the light so in my opinion this is a great option if you're looking for an all-around flashlight that can do pretty much everything that you would need for it to do um, it's still able to carry very nicely in the hand but you also have all the other carry options so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and leave a, um, the link below to where you can find out all the information where to purchase this or if you want to find out anything else about it uh, again this is the th15 from jetbeam let me know if you guys have any questions thanks